election night, school levies are in the spotlight. It is good to have you with us. I'm Evan Millward. The results are a mixed bag across our area, so let's take a look. Here's a list of school districts where levies passed tonight. A big one for Forest Hills passed by a narrow margin. Also Loveland, Carlisle avoids an operating deficit. Franklin all voted in favor of their respective levies. Other districts didn't have that result, though. We have followed Ross Locals financial struggles. This is the third time that levies failed. Winton Woods also failed. Northwest was asking for a construction bond. It failed. Plus Edgewood, Wilmington and Blanchester voted down two separate tax measures. We want to focus in now on the Forest Hill School District. It voted yes for the school levy, but by a razor thin margin. WCPO 9 anchor Brett Boganski live in California. Brett, there are plenty of happy people where you are. Yeah, they certainly were about 20 minutes, half hour ago. This room was full. They were very excited about what happened here tonight. But after all, it is a school night, so they probably had to get home. So here are the results right here. The yes votes, 7,365. The no votes, 6,617. Look at that difference. 748 votes really showing you that every vote counts and that certainly made a difference when it comes out to that voter turnout which was right around 24 25 percent tonight for all the eligible voters in Hamilton County but they were confident going in here they were talking about the work that they were doing but as the results were coming in it was uh, right before 10 o'clock there were less than six percent of the precincts were reporting but sh shortly after 10 o'clock tonight that's when all the results came in and we got that number so Knowing about this school levy going forward, this means that there will be an additional $20.13 a month on your property tax bill for a home valued at $100,000. And for Superintendent Larry Hook, it's all about getting to work, fixing some of those old buildings, and keeping some of the school services just as they are. It's gratifying knowing tomorrow we don't have to have those hard conversations with all those employees that may have lost their jobs. You know, and as bad as that is, think about the kids that come to school tomorrow. So one of the things they were talking about in the weeks and months going in was the work that they did, going door to door, trying to get people on their side to vote yes for this school levy. And speaking to the uh, parents for, uh, for Forest Hills where they got people to vote yes, they said they got an additional 800 people to come out and vote, either people who hadn't voted before or didn't vote in the last election. So take that number in consideration, 800, 748. Certainly that made the difference here in this election. We're live in California tonight, Brett Bogansky, WCPO 9 News. Also tonight, Moscow residents chose to keep the 200-year-old village on the map in a resounding measure. 93% of voters say they were against a proposal to dissolve it. You see the numbers on your screen. The village, though, has lost 90% of its revenue since the Zimmer coal plant closed. If it had dissolved, it would have become part of Washington Township.